Okay, I've recently changed from a, an iPhone to an Android phone, and one of the problems I've been having is uh, how to transfer video from the phone to the to the Mac. Uh, that's what I uh, generally re record the videos on on mobile, um, and then transfer them to to Mac, obviously. But now I'm on Android, and I've had some difficulties with transferring. Uh, the video file to the Mac. Now the Android file transfer little program that you may have um, come across in the past it won't actually connect uh, my phone to the Mac for whatever reason I have no idea but it won't work um, so I'm trying to do this wirelessly um, I have tried this AirDroid um, software very slow for transferring video and you only get a small amount of sort of data allowance um, in that and it's also chargeable um, so that one's out the window um, I tried share it which appeared to uh, do exactly what I wanted it to do but it wouldn't actually connect phone to to Mac so I gave up with that one um, and then I stumbled across this Wi-Fi file transfer um, app so I tried that and it's been it's perfect um, it's really good so download that install that um, open the app and basically all you need to do is press the start service button and then you will get that um, IP address there which you then copy copy that into into your browser um, obviously this is blurred out I don't want you <laughs> you guys uh, accessing my phone but uh, suffice to say that's um, basically what you're looking at on, on my phone for example okay so I want to transfer the photo I've just taken so I'm connected to the, the computer there all I would need to do is just refresh that page and the, the latest picture should should be there so it's as simple as that so I hope you found that useful um, like I say this is going to be the solution I'm going to be using going forward and it works really fast for um, transferring you know video files um, you can use um, Google Photos um, and that does upload automatically um, but the, the problem I've had with Google Photos is that the the quality of the video when it gets uploaded say I, I upload in 4k uh, initially it will upload in 360p and then over an hour or two it may turn into 720p and then an hour or two later to your 1080p so you're taking it could take you know six hours before the actual video gets uploaded and I haven't got time to be waiting around for that so um, anyway this is a solution I'm going to be using going forward and uh, I hope you found that useful